In this video, I'm taking you behind the scenes on one of my recent test shoots in Venice Beach using the Profoto B10X combined with my Fujifilm X100F. I was really surprised with the results that I got from using this combination. I filmed behind the scenes to share both my lighting setups that I used for this photo shoot and the photos that I made on this test shoot. All right guys, welcome back to another video. So a few technical things that I wanna cover before getting into my light setups, because I know you're gonna ask, is the wireless trigger that I used was the Profoto Connect. It has three settings, manual, auto, or TTL, and then off. I did not use TTL throughout the shoot because I didn't want the light to bounce around. I wanted to set it and kind of turn it up or turn it down based on the light that was available. The second thing is I did have the ND filter turned on throughout the entire shoot. Um, the X100F does have a leaf shutter, which means it's capable of shooting at higher sync speeds. I like having a slight amount of motion blur, especially in my action shots. So I will put all the camera settings on the screen as they come up. I did shoot RAW plus JPEG. If you're interested in seeing the straight out of camera JPEGs with my film recipes all baked into them, I will put a small section at the end of this video. So if you're just interested in that, skip ahead, check those out. I think that's it. Let's jump in with the first look. We have a two light setup. The sun is working as a backlight. The B10X is our key light. The power is set to level six. So the B10X goes to a 10, so we're just above half power. Even though this technically is a bare bulb setup, Profoto has a white frosted plate on the front of the light, so it does soften the light a little bit. And with these lights, the closer you get to your subject, the bigger the light source and the softer the light will be. Since I'm using the X100F with a fixed focal length lens, you can see for me to get close-ups, I have to move into my subject. To get wides, I have to move back. I feel like 35 millimeter is the perfect focal length to get the variety of shots that I need for this test shoot. I like to show my models and subjects the back of the camera from time to time throughout the shoot, just to give them a little confidence boost to give them some insight on as to what's happening. So here is our second look and with my lighting setups, I like to try to match what's happening within the scene. So since we're in a kind of an open shade environment, I wanted a softer light. So I'm using the Profoto medium shallow umbrella with a white interior. This is one of my favorite shots of the shoot. I love the way the racket is coming into the shot. I love the motion blur that's happening. In this shot, I noticed that I saw the ball kind of going up into frame and I was cutting it off. So I moved back, changed to vertical, and I love the shot. I love the leading lines up to the ball, but still wasn't quite it. So just shifting to the left a little bit, I really love this shot. This is another one of my favorites from this shoot. Here, just a close up. You can see the softness of the light from the umbrella. And if you ever wanna make someone look epic, just get at a really low angle and shoot up at them. One thing to notice is that because the light is so high and close to the, his upper body, his lower body goes into complete shadow. Moving into my third setup, I wanted to go back to the bare bulb. And the reason is because if you look just above that three, you see the natural hard light hitting the wall. I wanted to 
make it look like some of that light was hitting my subject. So I set the power to nine, which is close to full power. I moved it back away from my model. Like we said in the first setup, the further away from your subject you move your light, the smaller the light source, the harder the light. It looks like he could be being lit with that light coming out on the wall. And here is the third modifier that I used in the same environment, same look. I wanted just a little bit, I wanted to have variety within these shots. And the idea behind this shot was, I wanted to look like a shadow boxer. And I wanted to combine two things, cause you know, he's just solo practicing tennis. I wanted it to look like he was a shadow boxer. So he's like a shadow tennis player. Here's the result. I feel like it turned out really well. One thing that I thought was funny throughout this is um, testing out a camera that I've never used before and I decided to throw a ball with my left hand and time the shot and get the autofocus right. Not the easiest thing in the world to do, but I definitely got several usable shots out of this look and my model was a good sport. He kept doing take after take, letting me get the shot right. And here's the final look. We're back to the bare bulb. Uh, pretty similar look to the first one we started with. One thing to note is when the sun starts going down in the sky, it starts to change color. I wish that I put the orange gel on the light sooner. You can tell on some of the shots that there is an orange light on his back where the sun's hitting his back and the light lighting up his front is more of a white light but that's why we do test shoots. Every single shoot is different. I try to work with the environment that I'm working in and using the natural light. I love the Profoto B10X. It's super lightweight, it's battery powered. It's very, it, it has a very small footprint along with the Fujifilm X100F. It, this is a great combination of camera gear if you're trying to be low key and not get any unwanted attention in a public space like where we were shooting. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you learned how I light my subjects, do my test shoots, and as promised, stick around. There will be some of my favorite unedited JPEGs coming at you. I'll see you in the next video.